Hi, I'm Liz and I cut my own kids hair and I wanted to share with YouTube since there wasn't a good YouTube video out there uh, how to put this set of clippers back together. So to take these apart, you're just going to need a Phillips screwdriver and you're going to use it on those two screws and just unscrew them. Okay, so I took these two little screws out and now you're going to take off the big blade. You're going to take off the small blade. You're going to pull out this little plastic piece. It has an oval on one side. And then on the other side, it has two grooves, the vertical grooves. And then it also has two horizontal grooves. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. Stop, hold on, I just wanna show you what all the pieces will look like when they are put together inside the clippers. Okay. That's the not flat side. That's the, the very flat side. There's the oval part right there. The oval part goes <laughs> into tied. the not flat side. Okay, like that. And then there's the grooves that the spring rests against. And I'm gonna show you, the spring is going to like be like that in there. It's gonna go like that. And then the big blade is gonna go with the flat side against the flat side. And it's gonna be all like that when it's all together. This is just, this is not for mechanically minded people. This is for people like me who take two hours to figure out how, how to put something back together. So now you've cleaned your clippers and you're ready to put them back together. So there's, you have to put them back in order, in the same order that you took them out. So I want you to look carefully at this spring. A spring is uh, for having tension. So if you put it back in and there's no tension that can be put on it, then it's not incorrectly. Okay, so I'm going to put it in like this. And this little lip here, I don't know what else to call it, that square piece that goes down, that's going to slide underneath this metal piece here. And it can, it's going to have a square part under there that it, that it catches on and it, it goes around. So then it, it's going to look like this. And you can go like that and you can push up and put tension on that. And you can feel it being springy. So this right here is the next piece you want to put back in. When you have... The plastic piece incorrectly, you're not going to be able to see the spring at all. So everything in your clippers are tucked in nicely. The spring, you can't see the spring. Now take the small blade and line the oval hole up with the flat side facing out. Line the oval hole up with the oval part. And I'm just pressing pressing it against me, facing away from me, so that everything, I can keep everything together because I'm putting a lot of tension. I'm putting some pressure on that right now to keep it together because that spring is pushing hard against me. And then I'm gonna slide the big blade on top, flat side against flat side. I'm gonna line the holes up and you can see you want to also line the blades up at this point pretty well, but it doesn't have to be perfect yet. I would just line them up pretty well so that this, the small blade teeth are just um, slightly below the teeth of the large blade. And then put one screw in while you're holding everything together. Put one screw in and that is gonna take a lot of pressure off of you because then you can let go <sighs> thank you 
and it's going to be a little crooked so just move the blade around blades around till you have them lined up and i suggest that you look at another video on how to line the blades up because i'm not a professional but what i do is i just line the teeth up so that they're kind of um about a millimeter or so below the the small the teeth of the small blade are about a millimeter below the teeth of the large blade All right, just shake it out, shake it out. <laughs> 